What's up my killers? It's Rini and welcome to my first video video on this channel. Sorry I kind of look kind of crazy cause just woke up but I decided that I'm gonna start playing local serious again. After all the lockdowns here in Canada it's just been hard to really get into yo the way that I want to. You know Renaultos have never been my thing but now that I feel like Canada has sort of stabilized I can feel sort of safe, I guess, going to locals without fear of going into lockdown again. But, you know, who knows? But yeah, it's exciting to finally start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again like this. I want to share and record this journey with you guys. It's been a long time since I actually played Yu-Gi-Oh! seriously. Um, the last time I actually played was back when Bujins were a thing, if y'all remember that. I just fell off Yu-Gi-Oh! for a few years. As of more recently, I kind of came back and I must say, after coming back to Lynx and Pendulums, my brain was like, what the fuck is going on in this game? But we here, we learned the hard way, we out here. About a year ago, I did pick up a Subterra deck, just played here and there. I didn't, I don't think I ever took it to a local. You know, now that I feel like I have more time and more than two brain cells, I feel like I can actually start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! serious again. So, as of Friday, yesterday, February 11th, I decided I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm going to start going to tournaments on Sunday, which is tomorrow, which gives me about a day-ish to practice. But I hope that you guys can watch my journey with me to table one. Playtest check-in. It's currently 2 a.m. I've been playing all night since about 6 p.m. and I'm getting pretty tired right now. But we didn't become the best of us, and I'm not practicing, so I'm just gonna play a few more games and then I'm gonna sleep and check back in the morning when I start practicing some more. Okay. So it's the next day, it's Sunday. I look crazy again because I just woke up. I was playing all night until like 3.30 and then I didn't get to sleep till 4.30. kind of woke up at like 10 so I don't know how I woke up so early. I feel like I did cocaine all night. Now I'm eating breakfast. I'm about to practice some more before locals check back in on ya. One deck. Two deck. Random shit. I forgot my uh, mat in the car, so. Ah. Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he don't get a holler. Bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he don't get a Fuck! We'll be forever, babe. and my cookie because you can't become the world's best duelist on an empty stomach. Ah, sorry my glasses are fogging up but uh ready to walk in right now. back from locals let's take a little recap of what happened pretty much all last night i was practicing against sword souls and pks and 
meta decks that I thought I was going to see at this locals, but apparently that's not what I needed to practice against. Looking back at it, I should have practiced my dry rolls because I lost every single one of them. Round one, I played against a Pancakes deck, which I kind of have an understanding of because I play that deck on Master Duel, but it also had the new Brave Adventure Archetype in it, and he also main decked There Can Only Be One. Then on to game two, I bricked pretty hard and he had Lancey on my first turn. I couldn't do much, so I lost that one. So on to round two, I played against an Eldritch deck. He main decked Skill Dream and Nibiru, but surprisingly I was playing around the Skill Dream pretty well and then I, I just couldn't do anything after he nicked me. The next game he inspector boarded me and <laughs> Round three was Dinos. I play this deck a lot. I beat it pretty consistently, but you know, not not when it matters apparently. He just had an answer to everything and anytime I try to make my board, I just got negated. Moral of the story is, well, I can blame that my deck was a little bit inconsistent. I definitely know that I've misplayed here and there and that there are probably some better plays that I could have done with my hand. But honestly, had a lot of fun playing, especially seeing where my mistakes were made and now I have a better understanding of what I want to change around in my deck. And breaking my first vocals nerve. All right, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of my journey to table one. Bye. All right, I gotta practice now.